Hi there, Brian here from touringplans.com. I know you've seen me before, and I know you've seen me do the news before, but this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do quick turnaround news. Nothing fancy, no background, no suit and tie, not usually a, uh, an ugly Christmas shirt, but it's that kind of year. It's just going to be me sitting at my desk telling you the top few things that's happened this week in really easy digestible formats. Before we get to the news, I just wanted to tell you what is coming up for 2017 on the Touring Plans YouTube page. In addition to all the great stuff we already have, the news, we've got Angela every Tuesday talking about all sorts of stuff. We've got Guy and Seth in the parks showing you what's new, all the popular attractions, popular shows, all that stuff's going to continue. Angela is still going to do her videos on Tuesdays. You might also see her doing something like this. You're also going to see lots of me from the parks doing top five videos, top five hotels, top five value resorts, okay, maybe top three value resorts, attractions, lands, all sorts of crazy stuff you're going to see coming up. You're going to see lots of informal videos like this, quick turnarounds. If there's news, if there are new movies coming out, if you guys have questions, questions about touring plans, questions about the parks, anything, you let us know. You email me, brian at touringplans.com, or you post a comment below. We will get to them. We will answer those questions for you. It's going to be a great 2017. Don't miss it. Now, here comes the news. Big thing, Rogue One opens tomorrow, tonight, depending on uh, you know where you are. In fact, if you're watching this from the UK or other places in Europe, it opened already. But no spoilers, please. I haven't seen it, and I probably won't till Sunday. But you know what? That is something else we can do. I might pop on here Monday morning with a quick review of uh, Rogue One, have a little non-spoiler section, and then we might get into some spoilers on it. Uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Uh, Disneyland is going to be moving their security outside of Downtown Disney. So the bad news is that if you're just going to visit Downtown Disney out in LA, well, Anaheim, I know, you're going to have to go through security. The good news is if you're in the parks and want to go to say, uh, I don't know, Rainforest Cafe, I can't really think of other restaurants that are in Disneyland's Downtown Disney, and I've eaten there a few times. but. If you want to go to one of the restaurants, do some shopping, you can walk out of the parks, walk in there, walk back into the parks, you don't have to go through security twice. So that is good news. Will it make security any faster? Who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, this is a big one over in Universal Studios, but in Japan, Super Nintendo World has been announced. Uh, it is supposed to open in 2020. Only Universal could announce it in basically 2017 and have it open in 2020. It is supposed to, quote, feature Nintendo's most popular characters and games, although most of the examples they've given has focused on Mario and his friends, which is probably their most prominent name and the one that is the most family friendly. I know my kids love Mario stuff. They also love Pokemon stuff. So if there's anything Pokemon, we might end up having to go to Japan. Jeez. They are supposed to open this stuff in their domestic parks as well, but no official announcement on any of those yet. Uh, one of the, the new patents, uh, Slash Film has an article about some of the patents they've had and how they might apply, and uh, some of them are real specific sounding. This one, this drift race. Listen to this. One rider would have control over the steering and speed of the vehicle, while the other rider could provide the vehicle with various boosts and hinder other vehicles, say, throw banana peels or shells. Sounds like Mario Kart, right? Sure sounds like Mario Kart. All right, last one for this week. I told you these were going to be quick. Disney After Hours is coming back. Uh, and you can see about this on the blog at blog.touringplans.com. Our news uh, writer, Ricky Niblett, has, uh, great, has, does a great job on keeping up with this stuff. Uh, this was, was just announced about four or five days ago. They did this already last year. It's basically paying for extra magic hours where instead of the two hours you get at the end of the park for any resort guest, it is now three hours at the end of the day, but you gotta pay for it. $119 for three hours in the Magic Kingdom. It's down to $89 if you have an annual pass, but you it's much like a party ticket. $119, you don't need a ticket for that day. You can just show up at 
you know, eight, nine o'clock at night or when most of the closings are. There are two dates in January, three dates in February, two dates in March. Again, visit blog.touringplans.com uh, and search for Disney After Hours. Uh, the story was from December 9th, if you want to check that out. And I'm sorry I'm, if I'm clapping into my microphone. I'm getting a, a good fancy microphone, the big arm one that's going to stick in my face for all of you, but I don't have it yet. So, um, but anyway, Disney After Hours is, is coming. It's pricey, but everything we've heard is that it is great. I know Laurel from Touring Plans did one of the first ones last year, and she said it might actually be worth it. They did, you got to do a ton of rides, nobody's in the park. Um, it, it's basically like paying for an empty park, which sounds pretty sweet. I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to do it next time I'm down there because I will be busy filming all of the, uh, the great top five videos that are gonna be coming, but, um, but anybody that does, shoot me a line. You know what, if you have any questions you wanna ask, go ahead and ask them. I'm going to do some question and answer, things like this. I might do some YouTube Live if I can get it to work. So look out for all of that. That's it for the news this week. Thanks for watching. Be excellent to each other.